Let's talk about some of the milestones. You've been here for three years? Yes. It's been a very successful transition from a, again, legendary 36-year presidency into um, a, a new presidency. So I knew Fred for over 24 years by the time that I joined MICA three years ago. And so that um, uh, relationship allowed for mutual knowledge of each other. I think he was watching and was interested in my work, and I have always admired what he has done at MICA and what he has accomplished for the city. Uh, and, um, and I think that our friendship and uh, I think mutual appreciation uh, made it much more comfortable for this transition, um, th that the campus community knew that it's a, it's a friend relationship, uh, that I think Fred approved of my <laughs> succeeding him. And, um, and also in the city, I think Fred certainly has been wonderful in uh, you know, opening doors and um, introduced me to people when I first came. So that's been a, a, a fantastic friendship and um, uh, you know, um, a cultural relationship. And then as far as um, uh, Micah, I was actually um, at a very happy place with my previous college and also with Los Angeles, so I wasn't really looking to move. Um, but eventually I was convinced to join the surge uh, because I realized that Baltimore and Micah represent a very special uh, opportunity um, uh, to, um, if I could figure out how Micah could evolve, um, already it was an extremely good place because of Fred, but continue to evolve to be um, one of the um, transformative 21st century art and design ed, um, education in, in, in being in a way that an, a college hasn't really imagined itself to be before. Uh, and also um, um, the city, it's such a special environment that I think we could make a difference in a city that maybe other art schools could not make in, um, in their different kind of city context, that once I figured that out, I thought, oh, this is actually a, a wonderful um, a place to come. And so during the presidential search, I was very frank with the Board of Trustees to say that I came for MICA and also came from the city of Baltimore. Um, now, fortunately, because the, the MICA board was is so vested in um, the city, they were actually very happy to hear that. Yeah, let's walk us through some of your, your major milestones that you, that you and wow. MICA Okay, well, it's, it's three years is a very short time, just the beginning. In that context, I can say a few uh, new initiatives is that we have launched two new programs that are very exciting. Uh, these new programs are um, game design and product design that will actually be fully launched uh, this September, this uh, 2017. Uh, we um, uh, launched a micropreneurship program, which we can talk about you know, later on, uh, that really begin to answer um, the return and investment question, I think, in a very appropriate way uh, for uh, students and um, who come to MICA. Uh, and we also um, uh, have um, actually launching a citywide project called the Baltimore uh, Creatives Acceleration Network, and the, the better acronym is BCAN. So the game design and product design program, uh Give us a little bit of the history of game design. Has that been a major? Game design has a wonderful history at MICA. It has been a minor at MICA as part of the uh, interactive arts department. So we always have a game arts um, concentration that's been around for some time. It's been conversation at the college about um, ultimately moving that possibly into a major. But to get that conversation went on for a long time. So and when I came in as a new president, I said, let's make it work, let's make it happen. So um, it got jump-started into a uh, exploration and um, in academic environment, once you have an idea about the program, you actually have get faculty approval, you build a curriculum, then you go to the states and you go to the, the national accreditation body to do the accreditation. Long and short is that the minimum time to launch a program is about two years. So um, we, we, we move as fast as we could. So I came here in the first year, really uh, jump-started the um, initiative, and now um, by the end of third year, we're launching the program. So uh, by academic standards, it's very, very fast. And then the other program, um, uh, I also helped uh, jumpstart in my case, product design. And these two programs were chosen for strategic reasons. Uh, they were programs that are very adjacent to and synergistic with a whole host of other uh, majors that Micah. So for example, game design tapped into our interactive arts, its home department originally. It tapped into animation, um, uh, you know, film and video, um, you know, graphic design, um, and uh, also art education. Uh, because um, uh, while we will address the entertainment needs, um, um, games nowadays have much broader um, application than um, entertainment. Um, and then the product design that we are um, launching, uh, it's one of very, very, very few product design that are launched in the 21st century. Most of the other product design programs, no matter how um, well recognized they are in the country, uh, tend to have um, been 
uh, born in the uh, 50s and 60s as a result of the Sputnik com competition for you know scientific um, you know innovations at that time, and so um, and every single program is char characterized by its birth time, and so we believe that our program because it's born now it's going to be the most liberated in terms of what it could be. So again, rather than uh, addressing uh, traditional machinery, uh, our um, product design program is going to be really looking at how devices and services and the evolving times are going to come together. Uh, both our um, game design and product design will position MICA to be partnering organizations uh, with a whole host of institutions. And I think we can bring our core expertise of creativity uh, to um, stimulate a new kind of innovation in the city.